Maranatha, my PBC family and friends, Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our words are going to come from Psalm 63, and it's a great, great verse. And actually there's two things in here I want to give us a challenge on today. Something I've heard recently that's really been... Uh, Actually, I heard it last night in our Bible study with Chandra, um, and she kind of shared something she had heard, and I just thought, oh, man, that's so impactful, and it's something I really was been challenged with all night long, as well as this morning when I woke up. And so I was thinking about this, and I want to share this with you. But then in the light of that, I also want to share this passage because there's a, a deeper depth to this than even that that I see. So he says this in Psalm 63, picking up at verse 1, it says, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in that dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen in thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up mine hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied with the marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with the joyful lips. So what I find amazing about this is I think about this verse here and I think about this passage in particular here is uh, the psalmist here, David, we know uh, called the man after God's own heart. He literally says here, he says, I'm going to seek you early. Now, oftentimes we think about that being early in the morning. And I think that's a very applicable thing and, and, and one that we should. We should be seeking God first thing in the morning. And uh, that's where I'm going to jump off my first point here this morning. So the challenge was this, is how many times do we have a day that we have all laid out, a plan for, we think we know what's going on, or even in our lives, so to speak, but in particular, let's just pick a day. Tomorrow, we're going to fill in the blank, you know, and you have a day planned out for yourself. This is what I'm going to do today. This is what I need to accomplish today. This is what I need to get done today. And then it seems like for some reason, a grenade gets dropped in the middle of your day and everything is blown up and everything is just chaos and you're kind of going in a thousand different directions and it seems like you're never getting to what you had planned to get done. We had a day like that yesterday to a certain extent. It wasn't a bad day. It was a blessed day. It was a great day. We had no problem with everything we got to do and everything we, and we, and everything we did do. But it was just one of those days where it just felt like we weren't in control. I don't know how to put it better than that. But that something else was controlling us. And so as we were thinking about that, we were talking about that last night, Shauna brought out a point that she had heard and she, uh, where where the idea is this, that the, the, the pastor she was listening to would talk about how he, when he woke up in the morning, the first thing he would do is say, Lord, I give you my day. Whatever your plans for this day are, Lord, let me accept them. In other words, he was saying, I have my plans, my thoughts of what I'm going to do. But Lord, if you should have to change those things, don't let me get upset. Don't let me get grumpy. Don't let me get frustrated. Don't let me get angry, uh, overwhelmed because I'm not uh, willing to adapt to your plans, Lord. And so he, so, he, so he said he had a lot more peace throughout the day. It was easier, easier to handle the changes, so on and so forth. And I thought, that is such a great thing. That's that idea here of seeking him early in the morning. Lord, you, my day is your day. You do with it what you need to do today. So if it's to totally blow my plans and to go your route, let's do that, Lord, because we know that you know what is right and good, and so we'll do it that way. But then the second thought that I had from this passage, though, um, comes from the, the same idea here, but in a different sense. And what I mean by that is this. He says, O oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. And if I seek you early, look at all the things he says I'm going to remember, right? He says, my, because, my soul, because my soul's thirsting after you. It's like I'm in a dry and thirsty land. He says, I want to see your power. I want to see your glory like I've seen it before because your loving kindness is better than, uh, the, the, better, better, uh, uh, than my life. Everything that you do is better for me, right? I will bless thee. I will praise your name, Lord. My soul is satisfied with you. Basically, my mouth and my lips shall sing joy to you. And I'm just paraphrasing a lot of those things there, guys. But you understand what's really going on here. Now, all that comes from what? Seeking God early. Does that mean necessarily seeking God, as he says there, early will I seek thee? Does that mean just seeking him early in the morning? Well, yeah, there's a part of that, yes. But there's also another part of that. How about when those moments come up, when the, the chaos begins or the grenade goes off, rather than sitting there going, Ugh, like I got yesterday, I just really, I won't lie, yesterday afternoon I kind of got to the point where I was just like, I was just frustrated, I was kind of like, ah, I just feel like that. I'm walking through mire here, and rather than seeking God at that moment, as I should have, right, I was what, trying to satisfy my flesh, get back on my course, get back to my plan, and rather than seeking God, seeking God early. In the midst of those things, as soon as the grenade goes off, Lord, help me in this. Lord, be with me in this. Lord, direct my steps in this. Lord, help me to remember that this is part of your loving kindness. Lord, help me to praise you, Lord, because you are good. 
And if we do that, then we might find all of a sudden that a lot of those things that kind of sometimes throw our course off or just seem to throw off our plans aren't quite as big and impactful as we think they really are. So I hope this encourages you today as I know it encourages me. I hope it challenges you well, especially as you go into your weekend here, guys. Just remember always that I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.